Welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sudesh and I'm going to be your instructor for MS 900 Microsoft 365 Fundamentals Examination course. So we have completed the lesson two of module two. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the unified endpoint management in Microsoft 365. In the previous lessons, we have gone through Microsoft 365 core services and how to deploy Windows 10 and Office 365. And we learned about how to update Windows 10 and Office 365 Pro Plus as well. In this lesson, we're going to talk about unified endpoint management in Microsoft 365. After this lesson, you should be able to define what unified endpoint management is in the context of Microsoft 365 toolset, identify challenges involved in managing and securing devices, and you would be able to describe the concepts and benefits of Microsoft Cloud Connected Management. So what is Unified Endpoint Management? Unified Endpoint Management is a concept that describes a platform that includes device and apps management. Microsoft Intune and SCCM, which is part of EMS, which is in your Microsoft 365 subscription, helps simplify modern workplace management. You can use them to create this productive Microsoft 365 environment where users can work on their devices and apps they choose while still protecting your organization's data. In today's workplace, IT departments support different devices configured in different ways. Your organization might have Android and iOS mobile phones, Windows 10 and Mac OS PCs, and custom devices your users bring to work. Not only do you have to support all these devices, you have to be sure they meet organizational standards for security and device health. You also have to be able to configure them to support organizational apps like VPN, email settings, and updates. These different devices present the following management challenges. Mobile devices that connect to your unsecured network, mobile devices that are intermittently connect to your organization network, backing up the data, loss of stolen devices, compromised devices that connect to your internal network, and user-owned mobile devices as well. Is the device owned by a user or an organization? These are some of the questions you need to answer. Should you let your user-owned devices access sensitive applications and data? or allow access to its owner agrees to have the devices managed by IT. What actions can your organizations take to protect data stored on devices if the device is lost or if the user leaves your company? One of the tools you can use to manage all of these devices in your organization is using EMS, an intelligent mobility management and security platform. EMS is a suite of products included in your Microsoft 365 Enterprise subscription. EMS is provided as part of Microsoft 365 E3 and E5 plans. It includes products like Azure AD Premium, Microsoft Intune, AIP or Azure Information Protection, ATA, which is Microsoft Advanced Threat Analytics, CAS, which is Cloud App Security, and Configuration Manager, which is your endpoint manager. So Azure AD Premium is the central identity store used for your application in EMS and Microsoft 365. Azure AD Premium P1 and P2 includes things like self-service password reset, write back from Active Directory to your on-prem, I mean like write back from Azure AD to your on-prem Active Directory, Microsoft Azure Multi-Factor Authentication, Conditional Access Based on Group, Conditional Access Based on Sign-In or User Risk, etc. These are some of the plans available under P1 and P2. Microsoft Intune is a Cloud-Based Enterprise Mobility Management or EMM. This is a service that enables user productivity while keeping your corporate data protected. Use Intune to manage apps and mobile devices by enrolling these devices. When you enroll, you can use profiles to manage different settings and features on these devices. Azure Information Protection 
encrypts documents and enforces policies on how they can be used. Documents data is more protected because only authorized users can access this content. Microsoft Advanced Threat Analytics can detect suspicious activity and malicious attack, and it can adapt to the changing nature of cybersecurity threats. This provides focus and clarity around what is important with a simple attack timeline. This reduces false positives as well. Cloud App Security uses data collected from your firewalls and your proxy servers to identify cloud application usage. This can help identify unauthorized applications that might be a threat to your data. Additionally, it can identify unusual usage patterns that can indicate a problem. Configuration Manager or a CCM is an on-premises product used to manage Windows, Mac OS, PCs, and servers. Configuration Manager has a rich set of capabilities that allow you to highly customize following areas. Application management, operating system deployment, software update management, and device compliance. And this is part of both E3 and E5 as well. So how does the cloud-connected device management looks like? If you have an existing on-prem configuration manager, you can connect it with your cloud-based Microsoft Intune management system using co-management function. This cloud Connected scenario lets you manage Windows 10 devices using Config Manager and Microsoft Intune concurrently. It brings Intune functionality into the device management ecosystem and provide immediate values, things like conditional access, uh, remote actions, client health, autopilot for your Windows 10, uh, hybrid Azure Active Directory, things like that. That concludes the lesson three. We learned about the unified management in Microsoft 365. I'm sure now you will be able to define what unified endpoint management is in the context of Microsoft 365. In the next video, I'm gonna walk you through the fourth lesson of this module, which is teamwork in Microsoft 365. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace.